Gratitude is being grateful for everything you have. It is what you hear. The meaning of gratitude is to feel grateful for something that has been offered. But true gratitude is gratitude that comes from the heart and soul. The feeling of being grateful. Not just thanks. Saying thank you is education. Being grateful is your choice. We usually only recognize gratitude when you go through extremely difficult times. For example, an illness that left us completely debilitated. When we get better or are healed, we are grateful for being well again. Only in these situations can we realize gratitude. Only in these situations do we begin to put the word gratitude in our vocabulary. Because until then we didn't even use the word gratitude. If you know what gratitude is, is practiced by few, much less are those who know its benefits. Hello, welcome to the Rainbow Aura channel. Here we deal with spiritual matters to find physical, mental, emotional and spiritual balance. Gratitude can manifest itself in two ways. It could be gratitude for receiving something, but it could also be kindness for giving something. Both are gratitude. Both bring a very strong feeling, the giving and the receiving. The word gratitude comes from the Latin gratis, which means to be grateful in a state of grace or blessed. Gratitude is exactly what it means to be in a state of grace, in a state of contentment, a state of light, a powerful feeling. Gratitude is being grateful for a benefit you have received and that you have not done anything for it, being lucky, for others it is being blessed, or being helped by something with superior power, such as angels, for example, being in a state of grace. Gratitude is recognizing what is good in you, but also recognizing what is good in the others. Or even gratitude is the acknowledgement of receiving a benefit praising other people's generosity. To feel this gratitude, it is necessary to be humble, because it is necessary to recognize we are not self-sufficient, and we need others. We don't have control over everything and we must be correlative, solidary. Because to be grateful is to accept the other is helping us. We need their help. We need to recognize the other is generous. In this competitive society nobody gives anything to anybody without expecting anything in return. Gratitude is giving something without expecting anything in return. It's giving because you want to give. But the good news is that you can train yourself to be a grateful person and enjoy the benefits of gratitude. Studies indicate practicing gratitude stimulates areas of our brain that are related to pleasure and socialization. But let's get to the benefits. Practicing gratitude strengthens relationships. When you practice gratitude, you will bring out the best values in others because you will show the other person that they have value. For example, when you thank someone at your workplace, that person knows that you appreciated their value. You are giving them value, you are recognizing their dedication and that person will feel valued. This gratitude will bring you value because we tend to trust people who value us. Gratitude stimulates reciprocity and mutual care, so families practice gratitude are closer. We are creating something good and beneficial for the world. Whoever receives the value feels motivated to do good, making them their best version. But those who give also feel good about themselves, feel valued, raising peace and tranquility. Gratitude strengthens our relationships and even inspires us to join forces. Practicing gratitude increases the state of well-being. When you thank with heart and soul, you are in a state of grace. It makes you feel much better about yourself. You are full of good feelings, good thoughts. The same happens when you offer something to someone. When you see their reaction of joy, of contentment, your heart and soul are full. Stay in a state of grace and a state of well-being. The beneficials of practicing gratitude for health. Helps the immune system, reduces pain, reduces anxiety and depression, reduces the feeling of anguish, promotes and elevates good mood, promotes tranquility. Gratitude brings you the need to socialize. In addition to making sure you don't feel alone and sad. Expressing gratitude improves physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health in lasting ways and has no side effects. Practicing gratitude improves professional performance. Practicing gratitude helps you stay focused, helps you maintain concentration and live in the now, which improves the performance of your daily tasks as well as professional ones. You develop your best version in all aspects besides promoting the trust that people place in you. When you are a grateful person, you also become a nicer, more sociable person, and in this way you also endear the trust of the people around you because you praise the good things they have. Practicing gratitude strengthens positive emotions. When you practice gratitude, you are training your brain to see the positives and not the negatives. The mind tends to see and memorize bad events better than good ones. 
The tendency we have by nature is to complain about what is wrong and not be grateful for the good we have. By practicing gratitude, you are more aware of the good things and not the bad. Your mind will think more about good things because you are valuing good things, which makes you an optimistic person too. Practicing gratitude reduces attachment to material possessions. When you become a grateful person, you start to value feelings more, the values that people have and not material goods. Gratitude leads you to see other values beyond material goods because gratitude is a feeling. In this way you see the true value of people and things rather than the material value they have. Practicing gratitude brings a greater connection with spirituality. Practicing gratitude strengthens spiritual connection through love, through self-knowledge, through tranquility, and peace. You connect with yourself in a much more intense and fruitful way. Practicing gratitude improves self-esteem. When you practice gratitude, it becomes easier for you to recognize your small achievements, your victories and you recognize your qualities and strengthen your self-esteem. You recognize your true value and potential. But you can also see your mistakes, but not in a destructive way. You can laugh at yourself and see it as an opportunity to improve and not as a defeat. Practicing gratitude improves sleep quality. Practicing gratitude brings peace of mind, inner peace and tranquility in this way improves the quality of sleep and consequently, a healthier life with less stress. Calmer people sleep better. Practicing gratitude increases energy levels. Practicing gratitude promotes peace of mind and joy and it raises energy levels. The feeling of gratitude itself is already a very good energy that fills you. Practicing gratitude increases longevity. Practicing gratitude makes you become a healthier, peaceful and optimistic person. Gratitude promotes happiness and well-being. Studies have already proven that positive people have a longer life. Gratitude is one of the foundations for optimism. Have you ever felt any of these benefits from practicing gratitude? Leave your experience in the comments so you can inspire others to practice gratitude and to be happier people. If you liked the content, leave your like. This way we can take gratitude further and help to have a more grateful planet. I'm grateful.